Hello, vintage paperback book haul. One of two? Oh my God. All right, let's take a look. See what we got. Ah, okay. Let me just move these around so you can. Who are you? Oh, I'm Gary Luvisi, and uh, this is my YouTube channel, uh, of which I uh, am woefully uh, unprepared. But it doesn't matter because uh, I just like to show books. And here's a whole bunch of books that uh, I got recently. And uh, they're, they're various vintage paperbacks, all types, all, mostly in the crime genre. And um, so we're going to take a look at them. I'll show you them now. Let me just get my glasses on. And some sleaze and some crime. So here's a nice Avon. Woman in the Puppet, Avon number 135, early Avon. Here's a, uh, a Beacon by Joe Weiss, Love Peddler, Beacon Sleeves book. Joe Weiss was a Brooklyn author who uh, wrote a lot of uh, kind of noir, sleaze, crime stuff. Uh, uh, pretty wore out copy of uh, Charles Williford, New Hope for the Dead. A Nocturnal Meeting. This is a romance paperback of a dubious type, I think, perhaps. This is a uh, key book, uh, but the condition is off. It's the, wi the Window with the Sleeping Nude by Robert Le Leslie Bellum. Great pulp author. Um, that's a handy book. And another handy book, I have a few of these, is Up Jumped the Devil by Cleve Adams. It's a handy book. Handy book uh, number 64, The Fourth Star by Richard Burke. Handy book number um, number uh, 84. It's right there, right in front of my eyes. Yellow Girl. Lenny Bruce book, The Real Story of Lenny Bruce by uh, Valerie Kohler Smith. Based on the motion picture starring Dustin, Dustin Hoffman. La Mission de Rendezvous, a black cat book. I think that's the mansion of the rendezvous or something. Um, 40 Lashes Less One, Elmore Leonard. Before he was doing hardball crime and uh, got famous with the uh, Get Shorty movies and stuff. Um, he was doing hard-boiled westerns. Uh, a beat-up copy of a great Frederick Brown book, The Fabulous Clip Joint. We used that for one of your book shows once, right? The Fabulous, I think, Book Joint. Fabulous Book Joint, yep. Uh, classic book. Uh, this is an Avon, early one, number 263, The Gangs of New York. Great book. Carnival Sex uh, by... She doesn't have the author's name on the cover because in the sleeves books sometimes the authors weren't that important by Gary Bolin Carnival Sex and this has the fold out cover which just so you know but I'm not going to show you it because I can't uh, Thomas Bernard Swan a fantasy novel this is a British corgi uh, Peter Rabe, Hard Boiled Crime, Kill the Boss Goodbye, in the, in the original Black Lizard uh, edition. Uh, Dell First Edition, Frank Kane, Johnny Little's Morgue. And uh, Penguin Signet, number 665. Uh, Strange Fruit by Lillian Smith. This is by uh, cover arts by Robert Jonas. And, and Bob Jonas, when I interviewed him, told me about how he did the cover for this, because this was a early uh, vintage paperback, uh, reprinted a hardcover, and the paperback is from, it's from the late 40s, but I see what, 1948. So when Robert Jonas did this cover, he told me that he, uh, it, was, it was about an interracial romance. You see the guy, he's blonde hair, and the girl is, a little darker. So what he wanted to do was show the heads kind of sideways out of juxtaposition to show that uh, uh, that there was uh, kind of uh, something 
uh, different with this romance. Uh, he was trying to do very, be a very subtle way of, of, of showing an interracial romance uh, in, this, in this novel. This is very popular, very um, um, uh, kind of uh, tepid and uh, uh, you know, uh, controversial kind of novel when it came out, I think. And uh, his, his cover art was, uh, he told me that that's how he designed the cover for the book. Um, Curtis Marjorie in New York's Underworld by Simonon. Classic crime. Great. Uh, the Thrilling Violent Story of Circus Life Roadshow by Jim Tully. This is a great early pyramid. Uh, number 92. Kind of sleaze, sexy carnival setting. Jim Tully was a uh, was a uh, rather famous uh, popular writer around the turn of the century. Um, this is a, a Bantam book, uh, Western, First Blood, Jack Schaefer, who wrote Shane. It's a cool little book, Crossroads of the World, the Story of Times Square. It's a popular library paperback and it's loaded with old, old photos of, of New York. Really cool. Another uh, Handy book, 91, Luli, by Joan Sherman. Plunkett of Temeny Hall, book about New York politics and, uh, you know, how corrupt and everything was in the 1880s. Nothing's changed, people. Uh, a, uh, it's a manner book introduced by Pete Hamill. It's funny. Pete Hamill and, and me were both... Uh, in 2005, uh, nominated. Nom nominated for the uh, Mystery Writers of America Edgar Award. Best short story. And uh, neither of us won. Best short, <laughs> Best short story. story of the year, yeah. So this is a. Uh, um, Only five people were nominated. You should be proud of that. I'm proud of that. They should have won, but they wouldn't give it to a Sherlock the Impest each. Anyway, I don't know who wrote this, but. Uh, I should find out who wrote it. And it doesn't say really. It's, oh, it's got different authors. Okay, so it's probably edited by Pete Hamill. So it's the, the Deep Throat Papers, which is uh, about the movie, the porn movie. Of, uh, it was very popular and famous at that time in the 70s when this book came out. Uh, an early lion book, number 119, Hard Man, by David Karp. This is a beat-up copy of a really good collectible book. Here's a nice uh, hard case crime, No House Limit by Steve Fisher. This is more recent. Tough Cowboy book, Hell for Breakfast by, uh, by Alan LeMay. Short sized Bantam book. Juvenile Delinquent, Lion Book 116, Alley Kids by Benjamin Apple, Apple. Uh, Appel. Appel, probably, yeah. Uh, Floating Bedroom by Seymour Shubin. This is a, uh, a Beacon Signal book. Dark Canyon by Tex Holt. This is a later uh, handy book when they went to the paperback size. The, uh, the earlier handy books were almost like digest size, and then they changed the size to be short size paperback size. This is... Uh, a British Grenada book, Carney, a more, more carnival-related uh, book. This is uh, 310 to Yuma by El Elmore Leonard. This includes his uh, famous short story that was made into the movie. Uh, this is a Penguin Special, uh, The Other America, uh, about poverty in the United States this is from the, uh, I believe, from the 50s. So that's that pile, we're gonna move those over. And look at another pile. I hope you're not getting tired. If you want if you're getting tired of Are you looking talking at to books. Me? And, I know I'm talking to the people listening. If they're getting tired of looking at books, I could always stop. What Should if, I stop? You're nah. asking me. Don't always, ask me because nah. I say yes. You'll say yes, but I, I always like to look. The more the more there is to look at, the more I like to look. So or something like that. Anyway.
Here's a nice beacon book, Cheating Wives, photo cover. Whoops. Uh, we had a, Sorry. We had a paperback, paperback malfunction. malfunction. Okay. Night of Love and Laughter by Henry Miller. Probably the first uh, signet edition of that book. And James Jones, The Pistol. The Cheating Wives looks like a digest cover. It is, they, they use the same photo on a digest on an intimate or a uh, one of those intimate uni. or a uni book or one of them yeah uh the only reason Tresca Torres freedom on trial this is the incredible ordeal of Ralph Ginsburg uh, this is a fifth printing from 1943 of Chandler's Farewell, My Lovely. Uh, this is Detour to Death by Helen Nielsen. And the person who did this laminated the book. You can see it's got lamination on it. The whole book, which I can't stand when people do that, even though they, if they do a nice job on it, but uh, and people do what they want with their own books. And then when they get rid of them, that's, uh, you have to deal with it. Black Gap Books, which I'm going to do something on soon, is a series from uh, Stark House, and here's a couple of them. Number 36, Back Country by William Fuller. They're, they're publishing some great, great books. Number 13, Never Say No to a Killer, Clifton Adams. The early books in the, in the series had these kind of uh, silhouette and uh, kind of covers, and then the, 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 then they went to uh, using the pulp covers, which is much better and fits with the books from that era. In your opinion. From the era that they came from. No, none of my, it's none of my opinion, it's true. <laughs> Never Come Morning, April, uh, Avon, number T223, Teenage Tragedy, the great novel of juvenile delinquency. I'm now Nelson, Nelson Algren, over a million copies sold. Bitter Honeymoon by Alberto Moreva, an Italian author who's quite famous. He wrote some really good, uh, some good books. Lolo May, Love and Will. There's just all kinds of stuff mixed in here. This one I can't, this one I can't show you. Dig My Grave Deep, Peter Rabe, Hard Boiled Crime. They show the back of it. No. No, the back is worse. You want to see? Oh, the, oh yeah, yeah. You, no, you no, just no. see what's on the back. I didn't know what they were. Yeah. yeah, you didn't know what they were. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Okay, let's continue. Uh, it was a suitcase, a of, suitcase wanna, of apparatus. If <laughs> any of you want to know the cover or the back cover of that book, uh, I might put it in the next paperback cover. <laughs> that's, that's, that's about it. I cannot show it. Uh, okay, now getting moving along, moving right along, um, this is uh, What You Always Wanted to Know About Porno Shops uh, by uh, Roger Blake, PhD, he's a doctor, but we're afraid to ask. He's a PhD. He's a PhD, you know, so it's... Uh, In this what? Is not, this is not... Uh, oh my God. Anyway, one of these books had uh, early Robert Silverberg stuff in them, and it was, it's not this one. So that's that book, uh, Great Tales of City Dwellers. Some great authors in here, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Bud Schulberg, Nelson Algren. Classic Avon printing. This is the sixth printing of this book. Really kind of hard to find uh, in this edition or in the Signet paperback. It's They Shoot Horses, Don't They? by Horace McCoy. Of course, that was made into the famous movie. Um, Donald Westlake, writing as Richard Stark, Lemons Never Lie. The Great Bill Ponzini, Namus Detective Mystery, Bindlestiff, in the Paper Jacks edition. Paper Jacks was a publishing, paperback cover, publishing company that came out in the, uh, I guess, the late 80s. Uh, they did a whole bunch of books and then they disappeared. It's like, uh, 
It's like really kind of sad. I like the design. It looks like the corner is folded up and yeah. there's the thing on there. Yeah. It's so nice. Actually, the corner is folded up. And oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this is a guy that I've done I've done articles on in, uh, in my book, uh, Mystery, Crime, and Noir uh, uh, books, and uh, also in Paperback Parade. This is Joe Barry, the fall guy. Very hard-boiled. Hammett and Chandler-esque author. He was basically kind of copying Hammett, and uh, he was really, he was good. He was really good. I liked his stuff. Uh, this is Pursuit by Lawrence Blockman. This is another handy book. This is a handy book also. So the handy books were 15 cents originally. Jack Kerouac, The Dharma Bums, famous uh, beat novel. This is the 16th printing signet edition the loneliness of the long distance runner that's the signet edition dh lawrence by mark shower uh, shorter uh, biography of the literary giant i think this guy mark shorter is the same person who wrote the uh, uh diamond uh the three books in the Diamond uh, trilogy. Are you sure? Hard boiled crime. I'm not sure. It's Are the you same. Sure it's about the same that? name. It's the same name. So, and it's basically the same time period. Uh, this is like offbeat. This is a uh, Ace book H two sixty one, but it's not American Ace. It's British Ace. So all these British, all the British Ace had uh, white. Most of them had white lettering, uh, and then black spines. And of course, black spines show a lot of wear. So to have these books in nice condition is they, they're very scarce just to find them in nice condition. Uh, and that's that. And this is uh, Yes from No Man's Land by Bernard Copps. This is a really interesting, cool cover. That's my face when I wake up in the morning. Uh -uh. Uh, uh, the Pharaoh Kid is another handy book. It's a Western. Leslie uh, uh, Ernawine. The Third Man, classic noir crime by Graham Greene. Bessie Cotter by Paula Smith. She was for sale at Madame Myrtle's. I think that might be about a uh, girl who worked in a uh, house of orders pew. And um, this is the first paperback printing 1975 of Dog Day Afternoon, which was made into the Dustin Hoffman movie. Uh, and that actually took, that was a, that's a true story. It's based on a true story of a bank robbery that happened here in Brooklyn, where I live, because we have all kinds of fun in Brooklyn. Never and a dull moment. Never a dull moment, that's right. And now we're gonna do the last stack, but Never fear, because this is only part one of this extravaganza of paperback uh, stuff. Never ends, does it? Never ends, and it should not end. Okay, now I'm going to show you something that's really great. Uh, it's a beat condition of a rare Canadian newsstand library. Classic, classic hard-boiled, one of the best hard-boiled uh, vintage paperbacks. This is a Canadian edition from 1950s, Bodies Are Dust. Brutal cover. Brutal cover. It was reprinted by Lion Books, and it's been reprinted by, uh, I think Starkhouse reprinted it in the trade paperback. I guess they wanted it to is, make sure you knew what the title this was. This is the first Canadian printing. This is this is an unbelievable book, really. Uh, right up there with with with, uh, with this guy. With uh, This is A Hell of a Woman by Jim Thompson. This is the original Black Lizard reprint. And, so this Marilyn is, uh, Monroe. So that's J.P. Wolfson. Really good. Yes, they're Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Timon of Athens. This is uh, in the Laurel Del Laurel Lee's Shakespeare Library. I don't even know what that's doing here, but uh, it's it's mixed in with uh, all my other ones like uh, Sintown, USA, Wide Open Vice, Sucker Traps, Mob Murders. See, this is what we like to read about, Sintown, USA. Uh, this was so popular that uh, Lion reprinted this later on. Um, this is the, I've never seen a Ballantine book 
published with Penthouse magazine. This is a Penthouse Valentine book. It's, uh, and it's by William Rotzler, who was a, basically a science fiction writer and, and uh, was also involved in uh, uh, erotic cinema and, and science fiction cinema and all kinds of things. I mean, he's a really interesting fellow. This is a contemporary erotic cinema, cinema guide to revolution in movie making. And I think this is the book. I think this has, uh, no, it's not, it's not the one I'm thinking. It's not the one with the um, L.T. Woodward, Robert Silverberg uh, articles, but we may be coming to that in one of these stacks. This is a good book, and Rotzler is an interesting uh, uh, writer and fellow. He wrote a bunch of science fiction books, and uh, wrote some good stuff on, uh, I was a knowledgeable fellow on movies and movie making. Uh, Forgotten Pioneer by Harry Golden. This is a Fawcett Crest book, Western. More Western stories, selected by Gene Aust uh, Aut Autry. Gene Autry, the Western star who uh, uh, became so famous and wealthy that uh, he ended up buying half of Los Angeles and owning half of Los Angeles uh, uh, in the uh, golden age of uh, movie making in the 20s and 30s. And this is a, a story, a, a book of classic Western stories, apparently that he selected, or maybe the editors of Dell uh, under his name. It's a Dell map back, so you have a, a map on the back. And just to tell you who's, who's in this book is Frank Gruber, uh, Eugene Cunningham, Harry Sinclair D Drago, J.E. Grinstead, Clarence Mulford, uh, Alan LeMay, Ernest Haycox. Good, good, solid Western writers, all. Next one is a Louis L'Amour, first time in paperback. The Iron Marshal, and this is a Louis S. Glansman cover art. Lou did a, I, I knew Lou and I did an article on him uh, for uh, Dan Zimmer's Illustration Magazine. And, and Lou did a lot of the covers for uh, the Bantam Louis L'Amour uh, reprints at this, at this time of, uh, in the, I think so it was in the 80s and 90s. Louis L'Amour. More of the Desert Born, another Western. And there's Louis himself. Day of the Shark by Sam Ross. A Cape Cod wife, a proud, tough tuna skipper. The big surging novel of love, lust, and the heartless sea. Banner book. These banner books are really scarce. And uh, there's a bunch of them. Some of them, you know, there's a David Goodis book that's very uh, collectible. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of other ones in the series, and uh, they have a kind of distinctive look with the banner logo, but they're, uh, they're not that common at all. Um, Element of Shame, this is a uh, nice number 398 Avon book. It has the famous Avon cover underlap, where the cover uh, does not meet the uh, page edges. Uh, it's a common thing with Avon books that are not, you know, Avon books that are mint are, you know, are, are mint, but uh, usually uh, VG copies or less than VG copies always have this underlap. The cover doesn't reach to the page edges, but what happened is actually, if you see the page edges have, on this, the front signature have kind of uh, bent out, mm -hmm. you know, so uh, you see that on a lot of uh, vintage paperbacks, unfortunately. Uh, Bud Schulberg, uh, book Some Faces in the Crowd, uh, GIs, Price Fighters, TV Stars, 20 Biting Revealing Stories of Heroes and Heels. Huh. That's probably a very good, interesting book to read. Various Temptations. Uh, Avon, number T109, is uh, stories by uh, more famous authors, Norman Mailer, Schulberg, Steinbeck, Capote, Sansom, Robert Penn Warren, Herman Woke. Fancy Death's Party by uh, 
again by Alberto Moravia. Alberto Moravia had, uh, again, I mentioned him earlier, uh, a lot of his books were uh, published by Signet and they uh, had that Avadi covers, James Avadi covers, here's his signature, Avadi signature. This is amazing. If you can get a close up of this, just to see all the action that's going on, activity in this, in this cover painting, I mean, it's, ama it's really amazing. Uh, a Ghost at Noon. This is a, a British penguin, Alberto Moravia. He's a good author. Strange Love, Lancer Books. Our greatest author, authors explore the many varieties of desire. And uh, there's a whole bunch of them exploring. And this has an introduction by the famous L.T. Woodward, M.D. L.T. Woodward, M.D.? the introduction and he wrote some of the articles in here and that's Robert Silverberg. Uh, Dell first edition from the 1950s this has a I don't know who did the cover or it's just amazing cover um, and it's called it's Atlantic Avenue by Albert Halper. This is Atlantic Avenue this is Atlantic Avenue Brooklyn and this is probably what's this Fourth Avenue and uh, Atlantic, where the subway is, almost, it's got to be that area, right? I have no idea, because there's an elevated subway, uh, elevated, uh... Oh, but it's it's Atlantic Avenue, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Overpass. Yeah. Uh, again, original uh, Black Lizard book, Carney Kill by Robert Edmund Alter. Another carnival, Carney book. This is a uh, Sharon book. It's Notorious by Day Keen. Really like the cover art on this. Uh, it's got a little bit of sticker pull. This is a, an Israeli, I believe it's an Israeli uh, book. Sharon Publishing at Tel Aviv. So this is a, this is a Israeli paperback of Notorious by Day Keen. Uh, Sex, Vice, and, Vis and Business. Um, by Monroe Frey, Fry, is a Valentine, uh, Roadshow, A Carnival Life, by John Haas, Crimson Hairs, this is a green leaf, kind of a sleaze classic, no, I cannot show. The Devil Wears Wings, Harry Whittington. Whittington is a classic hard-boiled author. A lot of his stuff. He does so much stuff, and so much of it is good. The Heiress of Copper Butte by Paul W. Fairman. And it's a cute cover. I mean, the guy comes in while well, she's taking the bath in the, in the wooden tub. In the wooden tub. The Naked Year um, by At uh, Philip Attlee. Another copy of Luli by Joan Sherman. I already saw one of them. Marjorie Morningstar by Herman Wout. And the last one is uh, Picador. Picador book, British. American Psycho. And there you have it. A book haul for the for the ages, at least part uh, part one of part two. So uh, we're going to do part two soon, and uh, you'll see what the what we have in store for you. Because I have no idea, but uh, as I go through these, uh, we're going to let you take a look at them. I hope you enjoy looking at them. It's a very it's a very varied group of books, so uh, I think that's that makes it interesting. Because really, you don't know. What, what, what's going to come up and I, even as I pull them through one by one I said oh this is this one this one that one I don't even know about that so anyway I hope you enjoyed it if you do give us a thumbs up and a like uh, share the, this uh, video with uh, millions of people yeah millions millions or at least maybe a dozen or one and anyway we'll see you next time thanks for looking